There is one launch monitor on the market that blows away everything else. It is so good. It is the one you should buy. And it is, well, it doesn't exist. Wouldn't it be cool if that were true? If you've done any research on golf launch monitors in 2024, you know that there are more options than ever. And the good news is most of these options are great depending on what you are looking for. Not every launch monitor is going to be the perfect fit for every person, but there is one out there that is right for you, depending on your ability, your space. If you want a simulator, if you're just trying to get your numbers, if you're going to use it in your garage, or if you're going to use it on the range, depending on what you're looking for, there is a perfect launch monitor for you. We just got to figure out what it is. Today, we're talking about the 10 best consumer launch monitors on the market that cover a variety of different price points and a variety of different features. You might be thinking, I don't know if I need to spend 500 bucks or 3,000 or 5,000. I don't, I don't know what to do. Well, this video is going to help you solve that. I've extensively reviewed every single launch monitor we're going to talk about today. So we're going to talk about the best under 300, the best under 1,000, the best for putting, the most accurate, the best overall, the best for a home simulator. We're going to cover all of that to help make your choice on which golf launch monitor you should buy just a little bit easier. So that sounds good. Let's jump into this thing. Real quick, if you're watching this and you're still overwhelmed, you're still not sure which one is right for you, then I've got a 30 second quiz you can go take where you're going to tell me what you're looking for and I'm going to give you my best recommendation for the launch monitor for you. It's super easy, it's super fast, and you can go click on the link and take it while you're watching this video. And if you have any questions, then drop a comment on the video and I will do my best to answer every single one. Let's go. All right, first up, best launch monitor under 300 bucks, that is this. The Rapsodo MLM. It originated for $500, and this was one of the first launch monitors I ever used. It's super cool. You put it like this, you put your phone on it, and you use your phone screen to uh, be able to get all of your numbers and all of your data. It's got some cool features, and it's one of the cheapest launch monitors that gives you lateral data as well. So you can not only see how far you're hitting the ball, but you can see how far offline you're hitting the ball. At 300 bucks, it's not necessarily the most accurate, but it's at least going to give you an idea of trends, and it can make hitting on the range a whole lot more fun. All right, best golf launch monitor under $500. I'm giving that to the Swing Caddy SC4 specifically because this thing is the most feature packed launch monitor at that price point. In fact, it's the only launch monitor I know of that has a built in screen, gives you a built in remote, and has simulator access. In fact, it can do all of that for $499 is pretty phenomenal. If you're looking online, you might see that it's actually 549 retail. There's a coupon code below that's gonna save you 50 bucks. That brings it down to 499. The downside to this one is honestly, the app kind of sucks. They've been slowly making improvements, but compared to a lot of other products under $1,000, the app just isn't quite there. But if you're mostly planning to use it on the range with the built-in screen, or maybe at home using E6 Connect and you don't have to use the Swing Caddy app, then this is an excellent option, especially for the price. The most accurate launch monitor under $500, that's going to the FlightScope Mevo. It's definitely not as feature heavy as either the Rapsodo MLM or the Swing Caddy SC4, but when it comes to the data I get from it for the metrics it does provide, I trust them a little bit more than I do with those other devices. This is also the most portable launch monitor on our list, so you can literally leave it in your bag and just go use it when you're warming up before you play around. It also pairs great with the Apple Watch, so you can get all of your data right on your wrist. So if you are an Apple Watch user, then this is definitely also one to consider. Okay, now we're moving up a price tier. We're moving up to best options under $1,000. And there are two that I recommend. The runner up for best under $1,000 goes to this one. This is the Garmin R10. It's been out for a couple years. It retails for $599 and it can honestly do a little bit of everything. It's very portable. The numbers feel very good relative to its price point. So this feels more accurate than all the ones we have mentioned so far, but you can also use this as a simulator. And if you are already in the Garmin ecosystem, say you've got a Epix watch or an S70, then you use the same app for all of your data as you do with those watches. So you can get all of your round data in the Garmin app. You can get all of your practice practice data in the Garmin app. They even have a feature called Home Tee Hero, which allows you to play virtual rounds on any single course in the country. And honestly, for 599 bucks, it gives you a lot. So I would personally go with this over any of the ones we've already mentioned. And the best golf launch monitor under $1,000 we're going to talk about in just a second. For some people, this is a better fit for reasons I'm going to mention in just a second. So now that we've teed it up, what is the best launch monitor under $1,000? bucks? It is this. The Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. This is the newest launch monitor from Rapsodo, and it is the cheapest one that leverages both a high-speed camera, in fact, 
two high-speed cameras, as well as Doppler radar to give you more accurate results. Over the course of the last year or so since this came out, Rapsodo has been doing an excellent job pushing updates. There were a few bugs at first, there were a few kinks we were running into, but almost all of those have been ironed out and they've been rolling out new features to go along with it. So compared to probably every other launch monitor on the market, it feels like Rapsodo has been doing the best job of keeping things up to date and making quick fixes for any of the bugs that are encountered. There's a virtual mode similar to what I talked about with Garmin's Home T-Hero, and I like some of their practice modes, particularly the Garmin Combine mode, which has you hit a series of shots and then gives you points and an overall score based on how well you do. But here's the caveat. This is $699 compared to the Garmin, which is $599. But this, you need a $199 a year subscription in order to use pretty much all of the best features on the app. If you want to use that virtual golf mode, got to have the subscription. If you want to use the high-speed camera and get the extra spin data that comes along with it, got to have the subscription. Garmin has a subscription, but you really don't need it for most use cases. You will need it if you want to play Home Tee Hero, that virtual round of golf, but you don't need it to use E6, you don't need it to use the app, all of the data points are unlocked. So this ends up getting quite a bit more expensive than the Garmin, and the experience within the app under most circumstances is pretty similar, although I do think that this is more accurate. So if you were to just ask me what's the best golf launch monitor under $1,000, I would say this, the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. But is it right for everybody, even if it's within your budget? Not necessarily. So think about what your use case is and what features you like, because this might be a good fit, the Garmin might be a good fit, the Swing Caddy might be a good fit. So overall, I would say this is as close as I can get to objectively saying it's the best at that price point. It is not the best for everybody. All right, so now we're moving up to the next price category on our list, and that's roughly $2,000 up to $5,000. This is kind of prosumer territory. All of these, you can get a professional level experience without having to spend insane money for a TrackMan or a GC Quad. Those are outside the scope of this video. Okay, so the first one in this category is the best golf simulator for putting. Seems like kind of a weird category, but if you're building out a proper home golf simulator, we all know putting is one of the weakest aspects of it. No matter what device you're using, it can be difficult to get an accurate putting experience. Well, until now, that is with this or this. This is the Golf Zone Wave. So you may be familiar with Golf Zone if you've been to a more commercial simulator experience. They are one of the world's largest providers of high-end simulators, and their Vision and their Vision 2 setups, they're like 50, 60, $70,000. Well, the Golf Zone Wave is their first consumer level entry, and at $4,000, you get a whole lot of cool stuff. First off, the simulator experience is very, very similar to the exact same one you get on those 50, $60,000 simulators. But the thing they do different than every other launch monitor on this list is they include an infrared putty mat. So there are eight different sensors in this putting mat. You put the ball here, you putt, and it's actually going to give you accurate putting metrics. And if you pair this with a high-end putting mat, like a prime putt putting mat, you can actually get a very usable and very enjoyable putting experience on a golf simulator, which is something that most of the others just don't do a very good job of providing. The downside is it does need a fair amount of space because it sits behind the ball instead of right next to the ball. You're going to need about eight feet behind you as well as eight feet in front of you for a total of 16 feet in order to make this work, which is one of the big downsides. I've also found on my PC the simulator software is a little bit buggy, still totally usable, but it's not quite as refined as some of the other options on the list. All right, the next one is best native golf simulator software. So what is the device that has the best built-in software that's made by the same company? And that is the Bushnell Launch Pro or the Foresight GC3. They're the exact same device, but they are both among the most accurate golf launch monitors I have ever used. And I'm not gonna lie, the new FSX Play software is awesome. Playing Pebble Beach on it in 4K graphics, like it is probably the most enjoyable simulator experience I have used. The downside is it's 500 bucks a year in order to do it. Good news is Bushnell has adjusted their pricing lately, so instead of the $4,000 that the Launch Pro originally was, you can get a ball-only version. So it's not gonna give you club head data, but it's gonna give you ball data for only $2,000. So for $2,500, you can get the ball-only Launch Pro plus the $500 a year subscription, which is going to get you FSX Play, FSX 2020, which is the older software from Foresight, as well as FSX Pro, which is the iPad and range app that's going to be able to give you all of your metrics and all of your numbers. It's got a great built-in screen, the build quality is awesome. Overall, the Launch Pro just simply represents one of the best options on the market. Downside, 
500 bucks a year is a lot of money to spend on a subscription, especially if you're someone that wants to use GS Pro or another third-party solution. You gotta pay 500 bucks a year for the Foresight subscription plus another 250 a year for GS Pro, which brings the total subscription cost to $750 a year. And that makes it the most expensive subscription on this list. A lot of people will say the Launch Pro, the GC3, is the best one on this list, and in a lot of ways, I don't disagree. So honestly, for a lot of people, this is the right device. So the Launch Pro is the right device. It's professional, it's got great simulator capabilities, it's accurate, and it can be relatively affordable if you can swallow that subscription fee. If you want to use GS Pro, there's probably some better options out there, and I've had a few issues with the built-in screen being a little finicky, but otherwise, this is an excellent device and definitely one to consider. So the next one is very similar to the Launch Pro, but we're going to call this Best Launch Monitor for the Range. And you might be surprised with what this is, because it's the largest launch monitor we have here, and the Unicore i-Mini. So why do I say this is the best one for the range? Well, first off, it's one of the easiest to set up and start using immediately. So even though you can't just throw it in your bag, you can carry it out to the range, plop it down, and within seconds, you can align it and be good to go. It also has a fantastic built-in screen. I like this built-in screen. It's an e-ink display as opposed to the LCD of the Bushnell. I think it looks better, but more importantly, it has more data on it. So the Bushnell will only give you six data points at a time, whereas this gives you 10. So if you're looking for advice where you don't wanna deal with an app, all you want is accurate numbers that you can watch while you're practicing on the range, I think this is the best one to get. Like many of these others, it's also compatible with GS Pro. There's a much lower subscription fee on this than the Bushnell Launch Pro if you want to use it with GS Pro. So this might be a better option if that's what you were looking to do. But honestly, my big knock on this is the Refine software, which is their simulator software. I just don't think it's as good as most of the other options on the market. They don't have great courses. It feels a little dated. The graphics aren't the best. It's perfectly serviceable, but if you're looking for first-party built-in simulator software, I think there are better options out there. All right, we're down to our final two options, and these might be my two personal favorites. So we're going to go with the best home simulator for most people, and that is the SkyTrack Plus. So this comes in right at $3,000. So you can get the Launch Pro for $2,000, but this is going to include all of the club data with it. I have also found setup on this to be much easier. The built-in software and the range, I think, look excellent. I like the user interface on the SkyTrack Plus better than anything else out there. In my experience, the SkyTrack Plus is the easiest to set up, align, use, get going. I love the user interface, and so it's got so many great things going for it. The downside here is for as much as I love the virtual range app, if you want to use any simulator options, you're going to have to pay a subscription fee. So it's at least $130 a year to get started, or for $250 a year, you can get their E6 package, which includes like 15 courses, both the iPad version and the PC version, which is really nice. Uh, but again, you've got that subscription fee. This is also relatively versatile. You can take it on a range if you're using it on a mat. It does not work very well on grass ranges. So if your home club has a grass range, I would not expect to be able to use this. That being said, you combine the price, the accuracy, the user interface, the fun factor. This is one of the best options out there. And if you're looking to build a home simulator and not totally break the bank doing it, this is a good option. Even though it is $3,000, so it's also not like it's cheap by any means, but compared to what it could be, it's, it's affordable. So I think it's a very good value for the price. And finally, we have my pick for the best overall golf launch monitor. Like I said, there is no one best. This is not the best one for everybody, but I think it might be the best for most people who want something that's super versatile and not going to break the bank. And it's this, the FlightScope Mevo Plus. This is the one I find myself personally using most often. This is where I've got the most data saved for my own practice sessions. And honestly, there's just a lot to like. The user interface can feel as professional or as consumer level as you want it to. You can have all of the crazy data metrics or you can get super simple, get rid of all of that stuff and just see the basic data that you want. It comes with free E6 Connect access, both for mobile as well as PC. So Rapsodo, the SC4, the Garmin, those all come with free mobile access, but this one actually comes with PC so you can get a higher quality simulator experience. I also like the way they do pricing a la carte with this. The retail price is $2,100, but you can usually find it under $2,000, especially if you use the coupon code that is below. For an extra $1,000 retail, you can get the Pro Package, which includes all of the D Suite metrics. So all of your club data you can get for an extra $1,000. And then for $500 on top of that, you can get Face Impact, where it will show you exactly where on the face you are making contact with the ball. 
and it works surprisingly well. And I'm pretty sure none of the other products on this list have that feature. So yes, it's a fairly expensive add-on, but it works really well should you choose to invest in it. Arguably the best feature about this, aside from a reasonable price, is the fact that it does not have any subscription fee. You pay one time and you get access to everything. If you want to use a third-party solution like GS Pro, you can do that. You don't have to pay a subscription. If you want to use E6 Connect, great, it comes with it. If you want the Pro package, you want the face impact and all of that, cool, you pay one time, no subscription. So the fact that you know what you're going to pay and you get lifetime access for that one fee is different than most of the simulators on the market, and I think it's one of the things that make the flight scope stand out so well. However, there are two downsides to this. One is it sits behind the ball rather than to the side of the ball. So you need eight feet behind you as well as eight feet in front of you. So you need a pretty large space in order to make this work. The other downside is I found that you really have to spend more time setting this up and aligning it properly before you use it in order to get accurate results. But if you are using it at home in a simulator, you can set it up once, make sure it's good to go. And if you're not moving it or taking it out to the range or doing that, you're not gonna have to worry about that every time you use it. That also brings up a good point is it's small, it's compact. This is easy to take home, take to the range, take wherever you want. So if you're looking for something that's portable and can do a little bit of everything, then this is an awesome option. So there you have it. Those are my favorite 10 launch monitors on the market. Whether you're looking for something cheap, something expensive, something for the range, something for a simulator. Regardless of what you want, hopefully you got some value out of this and it helped narrow down your decision just a little bit because really there's not a bad option on this list. It's just a matter of which one is right for you. And if you're still not sure which one's right for you, go take that quiz I linked to below. It's only gonna take you like 30 seconds and I think it'll help narrow down your options a little bit better. My name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Breaking 80 where we do cool golf product reviews and golf course reviews. If you got some value out of this, I would love you to leave a comment, thumbs up, hit subscribe, do all the things, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.